Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Today, I would like to explore a little bit further into the area of the shoulders. We've been talking about that a couple of times in the, over the last few weeks, and I'd like to take it a little bit deeper tonight. And uh, so just to review that um, looking at it from the perspective of energy creation and energy distribution throughout the body, particularly in the area of Jin, that is expression through the body, energy is expressed through the body. And there are eight primary um, energies or energy gates that are called the Ba Men in, uh, in Taiji Chuan. They sort of what characterizes Taiji as, as unique amongst the, the different internal martial arts. And the eighth, the last one is, is shoulder, which is Kao, K-A-O. And that is generally described as shoulder strike or shoulder stroke you know, where you're, you're hitting someone with your shoulder. And, um, and I like to think that maybe it, there's something more to that, that there's an insubstantial quality to it, much like the other gins, where there's a, a defining energy which produces the effect that is being described. So let's say a ward off energy, we can think of it as a ward off posture, but more appropriately, it's the Pong Jin, that is the, there's a particular up and out quality to the energy that is what we identify as Pong. And there's a, it's also characterized by the tensegrity of the structure, that is the, the body is relying not on muscular contraction to do the work, but on the connective tissue system. So when we, whenever we relax the muscular contraction and rely on that connective tissue system to do the work, the energy flows more freely. And that, that relaxation into the connective tissue system and the intrinsic structure of the body is what is referred to as Sung. And Sung is um, um, oftentimes just translated as relaxation or release, but that doesn't really do justice to it because it's much more than that. It's what are you releasing into? And there is this whole other system, which I talk about extensively in Taiji Tran through the Western Gate, but this whole other system that is what was traditionally referred to as the sinews and the um, and it refers the sinews referred to like the tendons and the ligaments and uh, and uh, a lot of the classical uh, writings in taiji refer to relax the muscles and use the sinews and the sin the the connective tissue system is much more elaborate than just the tendons and ligaments, it refers to also the fascia, which connects up every cell in your body. So there's every cell in your body is, is linked through the connective tissue system. It creates this living matrix. So when we can get that, when we can relax and release into that and trust the power of the connective tissue system, then we have Sung. And the Sung allows for the energy to move more freely and to be expressed through the body. So then we have Jin. So the, uh, the eight gates, the last one is the shoulder and cow. And I, it, you can think of it in very gross terms, like as giving smack on someone with your shoulder, but it's also that, that I like to think of it as like the most insubstantial of the eight Ba Men. And it is the one that seemingly ties the whole system together, that whenever we consciously, actively engage the shoulders, then we are able to access a refined level of energy and expression that is um, very... Um, 
quite different from the others, but it kind of brings them all together because it's sort of the, the key that unlocks them. And the key that unlocks this whole line of thought is the idea of conscious feeling and conscious movement. And what that means is not just being aware of the fact that you are moving, but the fact that you are consciously directing your movements and you're consciously feeling that as you go along. And when we do that, we can awaken these different gins. So one of the things that characterizes the way I teach is, is what I call the three pillars. That is your central equilibrium. That is your ability to align yourself with heaven and earth in such a way as to amplify your effective power, amplify your connection with something bigger, the big chi, I like to say. And then energetic coherence, which is which ties the whole system together in your body mind. And then the third one is to unkink the hose. And so any there are any number of ways you can kink your own personal hose, that is to to put a, a block on the energy flow through your body. Anytime you're holding a muscles unnecessarily uh, tense, then there's a, there will be a kink in the hose. And if you're consciously or unconsciously fighting yourself, there'll be kinks in the hose. So any kind of muscle spasm or contraction that uh, that you're not aware of will kink the hose as well. But there, there are three basic places where the hose gets gets really kinked. And that if we address those three, that we uh, have gobs of energy. The energy flow throughout the whole system is amplified to a uh, pronounced degree. So the, the the first one, the most basic is the is the the qua, the hip joint. So unlocking the hip joint is is a big one. The other, second one is at the base of the skull, the jade pillow gate. So unlocking that allows for your spine to be to to be in your your spinal column, your um, uh, you know, the nerve your nervous system to be uh, unkinked there. And the third one is your shoulder joints. And ten shoulder tension is a huge block in our in in our ability to flow energy. And this is habitual and has been developed over decades. And it's something that uh, our habits have created. Something whenever it has deteriorated to, to a certain point, then you're going to feel pain. You're going to feel pain. You're going to get injury. You're going to get deterioration of the joint. You're going to get arthritis and, 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 and the like. So also traumas that you may have uh have encountered along the way, it's also going to add to that. So you're going to get scar tissue, things like that. So correcting to whatever degree you can that kink in the shoulders makes a big makes a big difference in your uh, in your, your ability to not just move your arms fluidly and powerfully, but every every part of your body is affected by that just like the hose get whenever it, any kink in the hose is going to stop the flow or reduce the flow throughout the whole system so going back to the idea that conscious feeling conscious movement we're changing the attitude toward the shoulders a little bit here and rather than just think the advice that i always got you know when i was you know early on was relax your shoulders that's something that I passed on to my students. It's, it's a good advice for a beginner, just to, that they have no idea that they are tensing up. But after a while, you realize that it doesn't matter. You, you can relax them all you want, but as soon as you get stressed out, you they tense up again. So they, uh, uh, you want to, we need to replace that idea of just relaxing with something 
that is, be able to replace that the habitual movements, which involve uh, inefficient muscular contraction, replace that with a, an alignment that allows for fluid movement and a release into the, con the connective tissue system, Sung, which allows you to get much more powerful than you are whenever you're tensed up. And a lot of it has to do with learning to initiate, not from here, but from somewhere else, particularly your elbow, your wrist, fingers, etc. So that the shoulders are a participant in the, in the process, but they do not try to control everything in, in, in their own stiff uh, way. So, uh, Last uh, a couple of times over the last few weeks, particularly last week, and we we're doing some things which help to open up the shoulder joints and create more fluid motion, but also retraining the movements in a way that allows you to consciously move in a way that that allows the energy to move more freely. And uh, so we're going to do some more of that tonight. And with the emphasis being on this conscious movement. So it's not, not a question of just plugging into an exercise and just kind of going through it like maybe you've done in the past, but to actually participate. So we're, we're moving the shoulders from consideration of shoulders as an impediment and into participation where the shoulders are actually participating in the action but as a team member rather than a, you know, uh, something that is trying to drive the process. And the shoulder likes to, to get in there and do it itself. And you say, no, 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 we want, we want you to play, but you need, a, you need to play with the rest of the guys. And so the consciously, conscious awareness of your wrist, your elbow, of the sequence in the motion and learning to feel into that so that you get these cues that come from your internal awareness that you are you're much more aware of when you are overriding and doing harm. And you'll notice whenever it gets uncomfortable or painful, you know, you're, you're that's your body mind saying that you're doing it wrong. Something, something's off here. We want to we want to we want to correct that and make this a little more fluid. So let's um, let's uh, begin with that exercise that we uh, we started we we did last week, which aligns the opening and closing of the shoulders. The activation and release of the shoulders with the qua so that we can actually use this. So it's a coordinated activity that brings the body mind into a harmony, but it also greatly enhances the chi flow. So the, uh, if you stand up, please. And feet about uh, about a hip width apart. So let's begin by establishing our three pillars. And we get our alignment in such a way that things are supported. Uh, one more thing I want to mention regarding the uh, you know the thing we covered last week, but. The idea of, of the angle of the shoulders. If the shoulder is, is pitched forward, it's much harder to pick up the arm than if your body is in central equilibrium and then you can open up much more freely. So we want part of the, the goal with the central equilibrium is to get things so that 
the alignment allows for fluid motion as well as energy flow. So let's begin with the feel your the balls of your feet, feel your weight spread throughout your foot, but you want to have special focus on the balls of the feet. Touch the floor with your toes. Feel that contact there as well. And reach for the crown of your head. Open the jade pillow gate at the base of the skull. Tuck in the chin. Reach with the clavicular notch. And if you're going to reach up and touch the ceiling with your clavicular notch, without rocking backward, you're still keeping your body centered over the balls of your feet. Knees are unlocked. Relax your lower back. And drop your sacrum. Now you're Feel the Weilu in opposition to the crown, to the Niwan, so that there's, you're lengthening your spine and relaxing your lumbar area of your, of your lower back. Reach with your elbows, the shoulder joints. Point your index fingers and establish energetic coherence. And then we want to get Sun Kwa. So just spiral down, turn. Just do that a couple of times just so you really feel yourself sinking. We have our three pillars. Central equilibrium, energetic coherence, unkink the hose. We're going to the, uh, the exercise we did last week, we're going to do that, but let's just review that. The idea is you feel the ball of the, of the right foot, set the right knee, and you spiral down to the spiral down to the right. And as you do that, you reach out with your left, right elbow, then reach with your right wrist. But your arm is very relaxed, comes up. So you're doing that, your body turns. So you can either move it sink into your right leg, or you can also sink into your left leg and turn to the right. Either way works just fine. I encourage you to do both. So you're spiraling down, let's start spiraling down into the right leg. You're, so you're releasing the, the qua, your sung qua, and your shoulder is sung as well. You're reaching with the wrist, elbows relaxed, dropped, you're keeping your central equilibrium. So even though we're turning, we're not leaning, we're keeping the body vertical. And then you feel the ball of the left foot set the left knee and spiral down to the left. The hand comes down and reaches up in front. Okay. Spiral down, reach down the elbow the wrist and spiral down and turn. Yeah, that, that, that gives you the basic, basic movement then. And then we're going to spiral down as we turn this time, we're gonna go behind the back. So it's like that. And then, you're coming up, spiral down behind. Turn. Go to the left, spiral down and turn. Good, and down and turn. Down. Good. And this time go behind the back. Boom. And out. 
behind the back. Yes. So we put them together. We ah, oh, and we spiral down and turn. Oh, we open and turn. So notice that at any point you can stop and your arms are sung. And even though they are released, you're releasing into the connective tissue so that if someone were to push on my arms now, that would be very powerful, they're very, very strong, even though they're quite relaxed. So this is, we're engaging each step of the way, coming down, you're reaching with the elbows. You're not just flapping down with your hand, you're reaching with the elbows. So you're, you're coming down kind of like a, like a crane, like that, yeah, you're moving that, and then, ah. Oh. He's sitting in. So here I'm in my, my back leg and turn. Very conscious, very aware. So pause here and just feel into the reaching. You're reaching with your wrists, reaching with the fingers. Your shoulders are relaxed and you're feeling into the energy that's moving through your shoulders. They are involved, but it's a, a cooperative involvement. And coming down, elbows, wrists, turn. Reach with the elbows, reach with the wrists, open. Elbows, wrists, turn. Continue, just feel into that. Arms are very graceful, they're flowing, but they are not on autopilot. You can, at any point, you can use them. You can express energy through them. You can do this also standing on one leg. Here, I'm going to do it on my right leg, spiraling down to the left. Turn still on my right leg. And still on my right leg, turning to the right. And still. Uh, now I'm going to go to my left leg and turn. On my left leg. So coordinating the shoulder movements with the quad. Very powerful exercise. And even though it looks pretty simple, what we're doing, and you want, if you bring that conscious awareness to that, you have the capacity to generate effortless power in a lot of different positions. And there's no point there where you're breaking down. down and just return to your three pillars and just feel into your body and feel the energy circulating throughout feel the feel the your blood circulating as well so you're enhancing the microcirculation of your blood by doing this, 
which feeds all the cells that don't get nearly enough attention. Any stagnation in your body is, is a precursor of illness. So you want to keep that, keep that flow moving and it allows for your body to function as it's designed. Okay, so now we're going to do another variation of this. And this one looks like this. Okay, so let's break this down. So I'm going to feel the ball of my left foot, set my left knee spiral down to the left. And as I do that, I reach up with my right wrist, reach forward. Feel the ball of my right foot, set my right knee and reach, spiral down to the right, reach down with my elbow, my wrist, and turn. Left ball, set the left knee, spiral down, and turn. There we go. And right. Wrist, all of my elbow, I reach in that elbow, wrist. Going to the left. So we go left hand, curl up and down. Right leg. Turn. Left leg and down. Right leg and turn. Left leg and down. So simple motions. And again, just like the other one, you can do it off of either leg or off of one leg. I can do it. I can do this. So, so, so putting them both together, I go spiral down and turn, spiral down and turn. This is all my right leg. So, wow, like that. So wrist. Good. Elbow, wrist, coming down, lift elbow, coming up, finger, elbow, wrist, coming down. So you can go back and forth between your legs, but the important thing here is to remember to coordinate it with the quad. So your movements, so it's becoming ingrained. Your body learns to like this harmony that gets produced by having your arm motions coordinating with your claw motion. Notice that your shoulder is involved, but it's very soon. Just like in the other one, we can interrupt this any point. Elbow comes down. Wrist comes down. You can do a super slow motion. The shoulder stays sung regardless. Wrist coming up. Reaching, opening, elbow, wrist, aligning with the motion of your claw. Just in your other hand is coming up. Reach for the fingers.
Good. And relax. Much of the reclaiming lost territory exercises that we've done before uh, incorporate this shoulder stuff. In fact, when I originally came up with these exercises, it was like a lot of them were like 30 years ago when I was experiencing some shoulder trauma that uh, I um, was healing, trying to heal myself from. So a, a lot of these exercises were came up with a specific intention to heal that trauma. So let's, uh, let's just pick a few of those out to do with this, this attitude of engaging and feeling the shoulder gin. So let's... Uh, Start with this one, your hands come up, open and arch your back as you open the shoulders, reaching, reaching as you, as you open, so you're opening the shoulders, opening the chest and allow the weight of your arms, just lengthen the tissues in your chest and your shoulders. And then come back. And just not round your back. And as you inhale, arms come up and arch your back. And exhale and round your back. So I'll do it sideways so you can see what's going on here. So inhale, arch your back. Open the shoulders, open the chest, exhale, round the back. So we're incorporating flexing and extending the spine with opening and closing the chest and the shoulders. Exhale, you round your back, inhale, and as you open. Yeah, okay, so these exercises can be done rotely, or you're just, just going through them, or they can be done as conscious feeling, conscious movement exercises, which then takes you at a whole different realm in terms of your energetic capacities. So... Next thing is uh, we're doing knocking on the door. And this one, the idea here is you set your elbow and you bring your, your arm back like this so that you're, as if you're knocking on the wall or the door behind you. And what that does is it opens up the motion that way, right? At the same time, your other arm with the, with the, with the knuckle with the back of your hand facing forward, you're going back. So you're going like this. So you're opening the chest, opening the shoulders as you do that. So, and we get, so you just one, two, and then go one, two, three. Good. And just let them hang and allow the, Arms get very soon. Elbows are rounded so that you're feeling your elbow, Jen. You're reaching with the fingers. You're still in your central equilibrium. 
but you're allowing the shoulders to let go of any muscular tension and so that they can just unwind. So the old, old energetic patterns and old muscular patterns can unwind and you can let go of that energy. It's a very non-invasive, non-challenging way of getting sung. I'm not asking the body to do anything. I'm not asking it to perform feats of strength. You're just saying, hey, let go. So now we're going to do uh, big circles. And so the idea here, we've done it before, but just to remind you, the idea is you inhale. And as you do that, your arms are going to come up. You're reaching with the wrists. Arch your back. Rotate. And then round your back as you come forward and sink down. Your, your, you want to keep your, your, your body um, fairly upright, even though you're rounding your back, you're, you're still maintaining verticality. What you don't want to do is just do this, right? You don't want to come down and just, just bend forward like that. You want to, you want to sink down into like a, you know, a, a, a squat here. And as you're coming up, opening around the back, Inhale, and then exhale as you come down and go forward, and inhale. Open, really just feel into your shoulders, feel into your quad, your back, everything, and really explore the relationships of your whole body moving as a unit, moving in harmony. Exploring that expanded state of shoulders and chest. And reverse it. Inhale, arch your back. Open. And we got elbows, wrists, sink. And then inhale, open. And And close. And let your arms hang. Feel the energy flow. Feel the enhanced circulation throughout your body. You're unkinking the hose. You're restoring health to your spine, to your chest and shoulders. Opening your chest and your shoulders allows you to breathe more easily. Everything works a little better. Your whole system functions better. Your arms are relaxed and they're unwinding. Now hands come up and out to the side, palms down. So here we have your elbows are dropped. So notice that my elbows are pointing down to the ground. What I'm not doing is this. I'm not doing this. I'm doing this. Okay. So the shoulders, the, the wrists are about shoulder height. Elbows are below the wrists. 
and, and you want to bring your arms for this one you want to bring your arms back so that you're bringing your shoulder blades together and back we're really exaggerating the openness of the shoulders as we do this and very slowly draw circles small circles with your fingertips rotate using your rotator cuff to do the work so you relax your arm your shoulders are so and you are using the least amount of muscular contraction you can to make this very quiet motion you want to feel into your arm you want to feel the relaxation of your shoulders you want to feel the sung letting go Good. rotate your palms up and go the other way is there a question there that's okay You're reaching out. You don't want to just have your arms in like this. You're really extending outward. Opening. Reach with your fingertips, particularly your index fingers, as you do that. As if you're you got a pen on the tip of your index finger and you're drawing little circles there with your with your fingertips. And relax. Come down. And let them hang. And step in, take a deep breath and inhale. So here also you're coming up, wrists, elbows, hands overhead. And then coming down, reaching down with the elbows, the wrists, the fingers. If you clear, you disappear the chi. Just pause for a moment and allow yourself to settle into the emptiness. Tune into your internal state. Right, take a seat. Let's see if there's any uh, questions and they uh, need some clarification or anything. <laughs> hey Rick. Hey Rick. Is someone transcribing this? No. I think not. Okay, because every time you speak, it sounds like a bunch of fingers are hitting a keyboard. And every time you stop speaking, there's no sound. So I don't know what it is. I thought maybe somebody was transcribing it. I know what it is. What is it? It is raining here. Oh. <laughs> so whatever I'm over there and and I'm speaking, the mic goes over there to and behind me is where the 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 raindrops are hitting the air conditioner, and they are making a pitter patter. <laughs> I, 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 I thought Maria was just like going nuts, so like being the total stenographer. Yes, me. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. <laughs> History solved. Thank you. Okay, uh, I apologize for that. Mother Nature has intervened. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, yeah, that's uh, yeah. <laughs> Something will be done about this. 
I'm on. But, uh, cool. Uh, any questions on any of this, Scott? <laughs> so, um, doing uh, knocking on the door. Um, I was just kind of because I mean you're not really you're you're kind of setting the elbow when you're doing that, right? Yeah. So I was just kind of focusing, kind of sort of reaching with the elbow, and then just kind of moving with the wrist. Is that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Like this. Right. I mean, yeah. Right. But you're. But, I mean, but, but you're also you're also activating. So even though you're setting this, you're activating this as well. So there's a rotation that's happening in your upper your your upper arm. Even though the elbow is set, your your upper arm is rotating. That makes sense. Yeah. So, yeah, it's not. It's it's. Yeah, it's more of a rotational thing. Cool. Then. So when I'm doing the um, arching back and letting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, the there's a point at which my shoulders, you know, start to pull. Right, not because they're tense, but because I'm reaching the limit of their movement, right? Um, yes. And I assume I shouldn't actually get there, but what I'm asking is, mm. or maybe uh, maybe it's just me, because um, it seems like I, I go far enough and then they're just like all the way out and they feel like um, they're, yeah, as far as they'll go and then it's it's weird. Um, because it's, I mean, I guess what I'm asking is, should I stop before I get there? Um, because it feels pulley in a not nice, stretchy way. Well, if it's in a not nice, stretchy way, then yeah, stop before you get to the not nice part. So, but, uh, but you, you want to, you're elongating, you're elongating the tissues. And uh, Stan is nodding furiously here because uh, he's been doing this for a few years now. And it, it's really opened things up for you, hasn't it, Stan? <laughs> but it's, it's so you, you, it, it's a gradual thing. So it's just like anything else, you know, yoga or whatever else, you're, you're lengthening and you don't want to do it all at once. You don't want to little bites. And so you say, you give your body a chance to catch up and say, Oh, okay. So I, I'm not going to freak out. I can go that. I can go farther. I can go farther because what you were doing there didn't look a, at all injurious, you yeah. know, the way you were doing. So, um, you know, I get back pretty good. You know, it's a, uh, uh, and, but I, I, I definitely feel the, the, the stretch there. So you do what you want to do that. And you're, we're, like I say, reclaiming lost territory. We're, we're, we have a tendency to do this as we get, you know, as time goes on, and we want to say, no, we want to go this way too, and uh, and so, and and doing so, you're going to be, you're going to be busting up some fascia along the way, so, and I think that's that's a good thing. Okay. Sharon, um, for the same movement that Lynn was speaking of, um. With the neck and the head, am I supposed to be trying to maintain keeping an open jade pillow gate as I'm going into extension? Uh, you know, that's a very good question. Let me just, I will ask my body that. Okay. okay so I'm going like this. Yeah, you want to reach with the crown as you're doing it. So it's not this. It, it's that so you're you're reaching up and, and out. So there's so you're not kinking the hose while you do that. So it it you know you're, you're it's there's still going to be some curve there because that you're curving your whole spine, but it's going to be a, it's not going to be an abrupt drop off when it reaches up into your neck. It's going to be lengthening here. So you get the the curve will be like like that, right? Rather than like this. Bless you, bless me. That help? Bless you. <laughs> uh, can anybody else? Keith, Keith, did you have something? You're on mute, Keith. 
You're still on mute. You're still on mute. Oh, there you go. go. I'm unmuted. Not that anyone wants to hear me, <laughs> but hey, I'm doing what I can. I got to tell you, I just, my only commentary, I wish I would have been involved with this five or 10 years ago because my main rubber band broke last night. I'm not sure what happened. And coincidentally, I've got a surgery a week from Friday, but I, my left arm is, is freaking dead. But anyway, I wish I would have met you five or 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah uh, uh well it, it's never too late it's never too well, late you know, yeah. the magnet the magnetic resonance you know told me <laughs> like i should have been doing something a little while ago about opening up the scapula which i have this bitchin seat that i have with a hanging bar with a bar stool outside my second bathroom where i go out to in the middle of the night and i can sit and hang and fall asleep because <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 not a good feeling to have this kind of uh, fire i gotta tell you Bye. So, rick you have something i can't hear you so okay <laughs> okay <laughs> good uh, anybody else? Okay, so um, so so yeah, so let's just to recapitulate here. So we want to get it so that we're conscious of the shoulders without tensing them. So getting that so that we're not fighting ourselves with the with with the with the shoulder joint, and uh, but also not ignoring it either. So a lot of the approach has been so just relax your shoulders and get them out of the way has been sort of a an approach for a long time but it's more than that it's getting them involved in a way that is uh coordinated harmonious and that expands the energy doesn't just um it's not just along for the ride no. Cool. Um, yeah, let's see. Anything else? Um, I think that, that that's probably it for the uh, on the, on that for for today. Uh, so I think we're going to end off here. And uh, thank you all so much. Love you all. Thank Bye. you, Maria. Thank you. Good night.